My other example, the result of concurrent forces in the figure below is 300 kN pointing up along y-axis. Compute the values of F and P to give this resultant. So this is the figure. So as you can see, we have okay, R is equal to 300. F, this is unknown, 300, uh, 240 and then 30 degrees. We have 50 kN. So, ah, sorry, Newton. So, na yung first step natin dyan. Alam naman natin, this is our solution. So, we have summation forces. X is equal to 0. So, ano yung mga X natin dyan? Lahat ng papunta dito, right side is positive. So, we have F. This is cosine of V. Okay, plus 240 cosine of 30 degrees. And then we have 500, which is negative 500. Bakit wala na siyang cosine and sine? It's because this is along x-axis is equal to 0. Bakit hindi natin sinama yung resultant? It's because iba po yung resultant dun sa component natin ng x and y forces natin. Okay po? Okay, next we have summation forces y is equal to 0 upward is positive ano yung mga upward dyan sasama ba natin si r no okay it's because po ulitin ko ulit kasi nga po resultant siya hindi siya kasama sa components natin okay y is positive so we have f sine of phi okay minus 240 kasi pababa po yan sine of 30 degrees meron ba tong component 0 so wala na yan is equal to 0. So, what is your summation F? Why? Pwede na natin kunin yan. So, we have F sine phi. This is 120. So, negative 120 is equal to 0. This is your equation 1. And this is your equation 2. Okay? Pero, ayusin natin itong F cosine nyo. So, yung F cosine of phi is equal to ilan ba yung value nito? Pakicomplete nga, that is equivalent to 292.153. So, ilipat natin sa kabila. So, that will become positive 292.153. So, this is your equation 1. So, yan na equation 1 natin. Huwag na ito kasi hindi pa siya simplified. Actually, may mas simplified pa dyan. Kapag gusto nyo i-divide to ng cosine para makuha si F, okay lang. Okay, divide natin ng cosine para mahanap natin si F. Okay. So, next, we have to know the resultant. Since alam naman natin yung resultant, since R is pointing up, okay, ibig sabihin ng pointing up along y-axis, wala siyang x. Okay, wala siyang x-axis. So, R is equal to Lagay natin yan, summation Fy squared plus summation of Fx squared. Since sabi ko sa inyo kanina, walang x, so that is 0. So, we have R is equal to, okay, summation of Fy squared. So, para mawala itong square root natin dyan, i-times lang natin dyan ang 1 half and i-put sa kabila. Okay, or raise natin ng 2 para mawala yan. So, we have R squared is equal to summation of Fy squared. Since Fy, may value tayo dyan. This is your Fy. Lagay lang natin dito 300 squared is equal to, ano yung Fy natin? Since your Fy is F sine phi minus 120 is equal to 0. So, pwede na natin i-substitute yan dito sa value na to. So, pwede natin ilagay to para mas madali, para mas maayos, this is your equation 3. Substitute, okay, equation 2 and 3, okay? So, ano yung mga yan? So, kunin natin si equation 2, this, and 3. So, we have 300, yung R natin. Squared is equal to, ano yung Fy natin? Summation, we have F sine of phi minus 1. 20. Remember, that is squared. So, parang expansion lang tayo. Diba? Meron tayong x minus 1 squared. So, that is x squared minus 2 xy plus y squared. So, yan lang gagawin natin. Dito, this is your x. Kasama yung f half n. And then, this is your y. So, ano lang, um, substitute nyo lang dito sa value na yan. Kung hindi nyo kabisado yung mga expansion natin. Okay? 
So, 300 squared, that is 90,000. Okay, is equal to, we have F sine theta, or phi, sorry, phi squared minus twice ng F, kasi may sine tayo dyan, sine phi, and then Y, which is 120. Plus, we have 120 squared is 1, uh, 14,400. Okay, so we have 90,000 minus 14,400. That is, ilan? 75,600 is equal to, we have F sine phi squared minus 2 times 120 is 240 F sine phi. Okay, next na gagawin natin. Alam nyo naman kung paano um, kumuha na ito, di ba? Or paano mag... Um, tawag yun, quadratic equation. So, ayusin muna natin, since meron naman tayong f sin phi, kasi, uh, hindi f sin phi. Kasi, babalik ulit tayo dyan. Since alam naman natin yung f value, saan manggagaling yung f value? We all know that your, our f value is galing dito. Check natin to ha. Ito, ayusin natin. We have f, f2, 9, 2, 1, 5, 3, all over cosine that is your F. So, we have to substitute all the value of F dyan sa formula natin. So, we have 75,600 okay, is equal to what is your F? Lagay natin dyan 292.153 all over cosine of phi sine phi squared minus 240 times natin yung value nung F sin phi natin. So, lagay natin dyan, 292.153 all over cosine of phi. So, we have 75,600 is equal to sine all over cosine that is tangent. So, 292.153 squared is, ilan po? So, 85353.37 Okay, so natin Okay. We have 85353.37 sine all over cosine is tangent. Phi. Okay, naka-squared po ito. Minus, we have 240 sine all over cosine. That is, ilan po tangent also. We have tangent. Pero, lagay natin. Tangent of 120 times 290. So, 240 times 292.153 is 7116.72 tangent of phi. So, ayusin natin. So, we have your A to the 85353.37. Your B is 71116. 0.72 and your C is 75,600 pero remember kapag nilipat natin sa kabila yan that is negative okay so alam nyo naman yung quadratic equations natin so we have nilagay natin dito positive B plus minus okay B squared minus 4AC all over 2A so that is your tangent so makikita nyo yung theta na dyan tangent theta. So, ano yung mga values na dyan? Or tangent phi, makikita yun dyan. Okay? So, ano yung value nyan? We have tangent phi. Kapag ginamit nyo ito on your calculator, makakakuha kayo ng 1.4376. Kapag kukunin natin yan, we have shift tangent inverse of 1.4376. So, the value is 55.2 degree. So, that is your theta. Since meron na tayong phi dyan, or yung angle, so, ilagay na natin dito sa formula natin na F cosine phi. So, paano yan? Okay, erisin na natin to. Okay, ilagay natin dito pa means of quadratic equation. So, what is your F? 
sine 2.153 cosine of phi, which is your phi. What is the value of phi? We have 55.2. Dito natin ilagay para mas kompleto. 292.153 all over cosine of 55.2. So, the answer for your F is, ilan po? We have 511.91 Newton. So, that is your final answer. So, paano yan i-plot? So, all you have to do, lagay lang natin yung answer natin dito. We have 511.91 Newton and your phi must be 55.2 degrees. So, that is the final answer.